Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Hi. Hello. So we can kick off with a brief introduction. What can people expect from this amazing new series, Expats? I think it's uh, groundbreaking. I think it's elevated. I think it's what we call kind of a prestige type of show, but I think it's much more than that. I think the themes and the storylines are very thought provoking yet universal. I think audiences are going to really come and and really invest into this series and really connect to it in ways that they haven't with other series before. Yeah, I, and I I found it was a bit like watching serial television. I couldn't turn it off once I started watching it. It's, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's a, a show made by women, about women. Um, uh, we feel very happy that we were there supporting yes. these incredibly strong, amazing women. And um, yeah, it was, it was a treat. It's so nice to sort of go to work and realize you're making something special. And that's what we felt from day one. It was, yeah. a, it was a special group. It was um, about something. Um, it, you know, should hopefully spark conversation. And um, yeah, it was, um, what a treat. <laughs> and I love the sort of the backstory to it, you know, that Nicole Kidman had borrowed this book from her sister, got the mm. options for it, then approached Lulu Wang, who thought it was perfect for it. Um, and I know, yeah, as you mentioned, it was kind of an all female writer's room. Um, yeah. But even, you know, the male characters seem to have been written incredibly empathetically. You know, there's no sort of black and white here. No one's truly villainized. So when you read that script, and particularly your characters, what jumped out to you and, and, and what was the appeal? For me, it was the first time I got to play a father and me being a father, I can completely relate. And especially for the tragedy that had happened, I think I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. I think it's maybe the single most worst thing that can actually happen mm -hmm. to a particular family. And that alone, I was like, I'm in. And I think the connection to that, and I think I feel my family dynamic is very strong. And I kind of led with that in that sense. And that's really what drew me to the story, the book and the show, and obviously Lulu Wong and mm -hmm. her brilliance. Yeah, I, I have to say that that's a, it's an amazing thing with um, when you do have children and to sort of understand the gravitas of what we were making. It, it is without fail, the single worst thing you could ever imagine happening in your life. It's like, how do you carry on? Yeah. Um, and that's what the show is. It's like, how do you carry on after these horrible things that happen for everybody? But made with such um, reverence and sort of um, Lulu, who's got one of the great senses of humor I've ever met. If you don't know, Lulu's just hysterical and the best fun. So, you know, you're making something incredibly serious. And at the same time, she's trying to sort of spin moments of reality which sometimes are hysterical. So like, I want people to feel that they can laugh at moments because yeah. things are absurd. Life is absurd. And I think um, this show, if anything, there's these moments of absolute horror and tragedy, but there's also moments which you completely allow yourself to laugh at the absurdity of the situation or what's happening. I think it's always very important for Lulu to have that I've loved that working yeah. with her for a while. So, and you know, I I just enjoyed supporting these guys, um, getting to eat anything I wanted because she wanted me to put thirty pounds on. So it was <laughs> I was in Hong Kong and it was wonderful, and she was like, put thirty uh, pounds on and then run around naked. Yes, and I was like, awesome. That's what really drove yeah. Jack to the show. It was it was the only reason. That's it. That's what she said. She said you get to put on all the weight and then run around with a sock on. It's great. And I was like, yes, sounds fun. <laughs> And what do you think were some of the, you know, the takeaways from, from watching this amazing show? I mean, obviously, you know, this issues of, around privilege, um, about this, like, are you an immigrant? Are you an expat? Depending on which situation you're in, the changing nature of Hong Kong. And of course, it all unfurls around this, you know, very particular tragedy. What do you think people can take away from watching it? I think everything that you explained, I think it's a, a connection and an understanding to that. I think it's a piece of a particular world, especially as far as expats, that we don't necessarily talk about or understand or know, mm -hmm. but I think what Lulu did was really make this smaller world and expand it in such an incredible way where audiences universally can really attach themselves and, and get a sense of feeling and understanding through all of these individual characters. And I think that's her brilliance. I really think she makes these specific things so incredibly universal by allowing the rest of the world and come in through our characters and really tell a particular story that is so nuanced and so incredible and so incredibly cinematic and artistic that I feel audiences are gonna 
really watch this and feel compelled to finish the whole series, hopefully. I yeah. guess they can't. It's going to come out week after week. Is it? I think so. Is it so. weekly? I think. Good. I think. Uh, I think the first two episodes and then we can. I'm so happy. So they'll just have to wait. I love that waiting for a week. <laughs> the way it used to be. Yes. The good days. The good old days. The good old days. <laughs> no, wait. Yes, <laughs> exactly. We're just going to. Fantastic. I'm out of time, unfortunately, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Can't wait for everyone else to see you. Thank you. You're thank so you sweet. So Lovely to see you. Bye. Bye. Bye.